Try ko is mamay tubig dahil niya. Ay, pang one time, pang bigot o buwan na. Kaya niya niyo mukha ng corner pag uman night wing. Hi, Ben. Hello. Okay, good evening, Ben. Okay, Ben. Hello. Yes, Ben, good evening. Oh, we're laughing, Ben. Ben, you're playing Roblox now? Ben? Hello. You're playing Roblox? What? Yeah, Jill. I don't know. Jillian told me that you you message her in the Roblox. What? And you said, "Who are you again?" Mo ni siya nga Ben. Dahil ba si kado isang nga Ben? Dahil the other Ben. Ben, ano There's another Ben. The one that the one my student before. That the name is Ben. Are you are you? Ah, uh, by the way, you're you're playing Roblox or no? Yeah. Adi man siya day. It's not. The other band. I have another band. The one that that we saw. Maybe it's yeah. Mm mm. Not this kind of. Not this this one. Not this band. Okay, Ben. Not Ben because. Ben Ben. Okay, what? Ben. Are you free tomorrow, Ben? Can we have makeup class? Uh, like morning. Yeah, it's up to you. Morning or afternoon? Uh, morning. Morning. Okay, what time in the morning? Uh, mm, 9 a.m.? 8 a.m.? Yeah. 8 a.m. Okay, so because we have so many no classes. Last week, we don't have class, right? I was not able to have class last week. Okay, I will see you. Okay, tomorrow, 8 a.m. Okay. okay, Ben. Okay, so here, Ben. Today, let us look unit C. What is an online petition? Have you ever signed one? Why and why not? Do you know online petitions? The one you can see in the in the online, like you were going to vote. Or have you seen like that? Are you familiar, Ben? Huh? Why are you laughing, Ben? No. Are you familiar with online petition? Uh, I don't really know that. Okay, like you can see in the in even in the Zelo, there is like you are gonna vote. Okay, vote. Yes, no, I'm not sure. Oh, you are gonna vote. That's some kind of online petition. Okay, an online petition is a form of petition, it's like a form which is signed online, usually through websites so many in the google form they have sent a lot of online petitions okay so we have here ben we have larry we have the word petitions okay a written document signed by a large number of people that are somebody in possession of authority to do or change something okay deportations are of forcing somebody to leave the country Deport. You will be deported usually because you have broken the law or because you have no legal right to be there. Deport. It means to force somebody to leave the country usually because they have broken the law. Deport. That is deport. It's a verb. You will be deported. It's a verb. Deportation. It's a noun. It's a act of deporting. Cancel. Group of people who are elected to govern an area such as city or country. Another is criticism, act of expressing disapproval of somebody or something and opinions about their faults or bad quality. Prominent, it means important, well-known type of people. They are prominent people, prominent type of people. Okay, that is important. You are important part of people. Okay. Notable, it means deserving to be noticed or to receive attention. So you are notable. Okay. Skyrocket to rise quickly to a very high level. Domain, 
It's a set of websites on the internet that end with the same group of letters, for example. Okay, like www.com, that's the domain. Multinational is existing in or involving many countries. Surge to move quickly with force in particular directions. Okay, surge, a sudden increase in the amount of number of something. That's surge. Dwindle to become gradually less or smaller. Okay, this one. Ben, please read the text. This one and answer the questions. Read the text, Ben, and answer the question. Okay, please tell me if you are done. Can you wave me? Can you wave me? Yeah, of course. Ano po yung solar storm day? Ah, sinasa.
Hello. Do you have the answer? Can I skip this? Oh, skip again? <laughs> uh. Okay, so bet I'll wait me. Okay, so here listening strategy. Okay, now it is very easy. Okay, let's and choose the correct implication. Justify your choices. Okay, go Ben. Lesson 4C. Exercise 3. Speaker 1. I wanted my brother to help set up an online petition, so I kept hassling him and in the end he agreed. Speaker 2. I spent six weeks in Germany last summer. I had a great time, even though my sister came to stay with me for two weeks. Speaker 3 We spent the whole of the first term studying population growth and its effect on the environment. And for the rest of the year, we covered some other pretty interesting topics too. Speaker 4 the first half of the concert was modern classical music by composers I'd never heard of, but I really enjoyed the second half, which was all Beethoven and Schubert. Speaker 5 Some friends from university have started an online petition calling for the government to take more action on climate change. I really, really want it to get lots of support, and I hope it makes a difference. I'm just not sure the government is ready to listen. Speaker 6 There are quite a few people in my athletics club, although not compared to last year. You could hardly move, let alone run. There were so many people. I think it was because the Olympics were on TV. Speaker 7 My parents are going to Paris in May. They invited me to go with them, but it's just before my exams. I said I'd rather go away with them in the summer, if they invite me. Okay, so the speaker's brother, okay, so sorry, wasn't, the speaker wasn't happy, the speaker wasn't happy his sister came to stay, two, three, okay, the speaker found the first term, terms topic, interesting, great job, Ben, the speaker is, is or isn't fun of modern classical, it's not fun, okay, the speaker thinks climate change is an important issue and numbers have dwindled at the speaker's athletic club since last year and the speaker does not want to go on holiday in may okay very good yay okay so this one oh less than to five people talking about change at earth were their petitions successful or unsuccessful is the information clearly stated or only implied? Okay, unsuccessful. Clear, okay? Please listen. Successful or unsuccessful? Okay, go. Lesson 4C. Exercises 4 and 5. Speaker 1. It all started with a conversation at a neighbour's party. I found out that the family who lived a few doors down from us, who were refugees from Sudan, were facing deportation, even though they've got two children at the local primary school. Our next door neighbour had already written a letter to our local MP, but I decided an online petition might be more effective, so I put something on change.org. 
Within a week, we had over 20,000 signatures. Although, unfortunately, it made no difference and the family were deported a month later. I saw the father just before he had to leave and was rather taken aback because he didn't even say thank you for trying. Oh well, I guess it was a difficult time for him. Speaker 2 I got the idea from an article I'd read online talking about astroturfing. I run my own business. It's an independent bookshop with a cafe, and I decided to use change.org to try and raise my profile. So I started an imaginary petition demanding that my company should be allowed to take over all the cafes in public buildings, museums, galleries, sports centres and so on. I created all these fake accounts so I could add signatures to the petition. What I wasn't expecting was the number of genuine people who also signed it. But none of it really did me any good. It took ages to set up, and I didn't notice any increase in the number of customers at the shop. So it was all a waste of time, really. Speaker 3 When I heard that the local swimming pool was closing, I felt really upset. Maybe because it had been so important to me as a child. My dad took me there every Saturday morning between the ages of about six and twelve. And then I stopped feeling upset and thought, right, how can I stop this from happening? I soon realised that an online petition was my best tactic, so I set one up. I got quite a few signatures, but nothing spectacular at first. Then, to my amazement, the local news contacted me. They wanted to do an interview with me. So I agreed, and it went out on the evening news. Within a few hours, I had literally thousands of extra signatures. I think it was at that moment that I realised I was going to win. Speaker 4 If I look out of my bedroom window, I can see the tops of the trees over there to the west. That small area of forest contains hundreds of different plant and animal species, and none of it would be there today if it hadn't been for our petition. You see, the local council and the building contractors wanted to build 200 houses on that land. It would have ruined a beautiful piece of countryside and destroyed all the wildlife too, of course. After we'd set up the petition, we mentioned it to everyone we met when we were out with our dog. Other dog walkers mostly, they tend to care about this kind of thing. Soon we had quite a few signatures, so the council had to take notice. I had a few unpleasant phone calls from the building contractor though. I really wasn't expecting that at all. It seemed they would do anything to win, but they didn't succeed. And every time we take our dog for a walk among those trees, I get a warm feeling inside. Speaker 5 Looking back, maybe it wasn't the best way to make my point. But anyway, I'd had enough. This neighbour of ours kept riding his motorbike past our house every night at around one o'clock in the morning. Every night it woke me up. It was so loud. I didn't know what to do about it, so I decided to start an online petition. I knew who the man was because our next-door neighbour used to work with his dad. So this petition said that Michael so-and-so should be banned from riding his motorbike on our street. To be honest, I didn't get many signatures. In fact, I even got some criticism from a few people who said I was picking on this guy and being unfair to him. <laughs> Can you believe it? Anyway, I guess I was never expecting it to work, so I wasn't surprised at the result. I just wanted to draw attention to what was going on. Okay. Okay, so number one, unsuccessful to... Okay, three. Very good number four, Ben. 
Hello? Okay, B number four. What is your answer number four? I don't know. Okay, number four is successful. Number five? It is unsuccessful. So three, unsuccessful. Two, successful, Ben. Okay, let us have then. Okay, lesson again. And please, for its question one and two, choose correct answer A to H for the speaker one to five. Okay, so here, so we have to choose. Okay, this is first speaker and second speaker. Lesson 4C, exercises 4 and 5. Speaker 1. It all started with a conversation at a neighbour's party. I found out that the family who lived a few doors down from us, who were refugees from Sudan, were facing deportation. Even though they've got two children at the local primary school. Our next door neighbour had already written a letter to our local MP, but I decided an online petition might be more effective, so I put something on change.org. Within a week, we had over 20,000 signatures, although, unfortunately, it made no difference and the family were deported a month later. I saw the father just before he had to leave, and was rather taken aback because he didn't even say thank you for trying. Oh well, I guess it was a difficult time for him. Speaker 2 I got the idea from an article I'd read online talking about astroturfing. I run my own business. It's an independent bookshop with a cafe, and I decided to use change.org to try and raise my profile. So I started an imaginary petition demanding that my company should be allowed to take over all the cafes in public buildings, museums, galleries, sports centres and so on. I created all these fake accounts so I could add signatures to the petition. What I wasn't expecting was the number of genuine people who also signed it, but none of it really did me any good. It took ages to set up, and I didn't notice any increase in the number of customers at the shop. So it was all a waste of time, really. Speaker 3 When I heard that the local swimming pool was closing, I felt really upset. Maybe because it had been so important to me as a child. My That's dad took two. me there every Saturday morning between the ages of about 6 and 12. And then I stopped feeling upset and thought, right, how can I stop this from happening? I soon realised that an online petition was my best tactic, so I set one up. I got quite a few signatures, but nothing spectacular at first. Then, to my amazement, the local news contacted me. They wanted to do an interview with me, so... I agreed, and it went out on the evening news. Within a few hours, I had literally thousands of extra signatures. I think it was at that moment that I realised I was going to win. Speaker 4 If I look out of my bedroom window, I can see the tops of the trees over there to the west. That small area of forest contains hundreds of different plant and animal species and none of it would be there today if it hadn't been for our petition. You see, the local council and the building contractors wanted to build 200 houses on that land. It would have ruined a beautiful piece of countryside and destroyed all the wildlife too, of course. After we'd set up the petition, we mentioned it to everyone we met when we were out with our dog. Other dog walkers mostly, they tend to care about this kind of thing. Soon, we had quite a few signatures, so the council had to take notice. I had a few unpleasant phone calls from the building contractor, though. I really wasn't expecting that at all. It seemed they would do anything to win. 
but they didn't succeed. And every time we take our dog for a walk among those trees, I get a warm feeling inside. Speaker 5 Looking back, maybe it wasn't the best way to make my point. But anyway, I'd had enough. This neighbour of ours kept riding his motorbike past our house every night at around one o'clock in the morning. Every night it woke me up. It was so loud. I didn't know what to do about it, so I decided to start an online petition. I knew who the man was because our next-door neighbour used to work with his dad. So this petition said that Michael so-and-so should be banned from riding his motorbike on our street. To be honest, I didn't get many signatures. In fact, I even got some criticism from a few people who said I was picking on this guy and being unfair to him. <laughs> Can you believe it? Anyway, I guess I was never expecting it to work. So okay, so here, Ben, we have... Okay, one, two, three, okay, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. This reasons or this speaker, what does the speaker start the opinion with? Why does the speaker start the petition? So why do you think then? Why do you think that the, the person or these people has uh, what you call that one of? Uh, principle about this one so why do you think why does each speaker start the petitions do not write that just say i don't know okay so know. okay so it's hard for you what surprises each speaker about the experience It is. What do you think? Okay. Can I listen again? Okay, go. Number two. Okay, let's move to number three, Ben. You already have the answer. So that. So this one, very easy. Completing the phrases with the words below. Okay, please write. If this is quite easy, completing the phrases with the verbs below. Can you tell me how if you're done? Thank you, Ben.
Okay, one more, number seven only. Then in, in four minutes, teacher and will go out in Zoom na ha, and then we will continue the lesson 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, okay, I will write task six. We will be until task six only. Okay. So Ben, cut the red tape surrounding. Okay, stop to uh, put. Okay. Completing the phrases with the verb below. The trend towards. Okay, reverse. Okay. In legislations, to bring. Very good, Ben. Okay, it's easier. Harder illegal for people to, to. Okay, to make. Very good. It's more funding. Or province reduce taxes so that okay and last one is a project to initiate initiate it means to start with Ben okay we have the word initiate okay think of the petition Ben you would like to start on change or it can relate to people national global Use example below to help you. Okay, give me one. We speak it up. Give me one advertisement or petitions. Uh, think of petitions that you will gonna have this. Can you pick one and tell me why? Okay, Ben. Something um, do you think? equal rights for all. Do not write, do not write, just pick it up. I'm speaking. Yeah, you can choose one. Think of the petition you would like to start and change. Example, ban insecticide or no more hunt hunting or what do you think one? You pick one and you speak it up. Um, Equal rights for all. Uh, equal rights for all. Why? Because um, in our life, uh, there's a lot of people who got like. Okay, so equal rights for all. You choose equal rights for all because it means that everyone should be given the rights to be equal. Even though you're rich, you're poor, you need to have or you need to access the right for all. Okay, so what are example of rights for all, Ben? Equal rights mm. for all. What do you think are example for equal rights for all? Mm. Yes? Ben, what do you uh, mean by the word equal rights for all? Can you give me example? Right. Rich people helping poor people. Okay, so like equal right, it could be whether you are rich, you are uh you are poor, as long as you live in your country, you have equal rights, right? As long as you are Filipino or you are Vietnamese, you have the right. Okay, to to avail the product, okay, to avail the the what they call that one to avail the product to avail the benefits that your country offered example vietnam in my country brand we offer the four piece four piece bin is for family who are poor so they offer four piece okay four number four and piece family who are poor you can avail this one okay so this is Equal rights for all. That is your, uh, what they call the one. This is your want. Equal rights for all. So given the opportunity to have this equal rights for all. Okay, Ben? Okay. Ben, okay. So Ben, I will see you tomorrow. What time again? 8 in the morning. Okay, thank you so much, Ben, for understanding teacher. And for answering the questions. Okay, so we are in task seven. Let us talk about this tomorrow. I love the topic 
about petitions. So let us talk more about on the petitions. Okay, Ben? Okay. okay, so thank you so much for today, Ben. And again, I will see you tomorrow and let us talk about the different topics. Save our swimming pool, invest in education, make our streets safer, no more hunting. No more hunting could be probably in the park or in the forest. Okay? okay. So thank you so much, Ben, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye, Ben. Bye. Okay.